Ethiopian cuisine, Wikipedia audio. Ethiopian cuisine characteristically consists of vegetable and often very spicy meat dishes. This is usually in the form of wat, a thick stew, served atop injera, a large sourdough flatbread, which is about 50 cm in diameter and made out of fermented teff flour. Ethiopians eat exclusively with their right hands, using pieces of injera to pick up bites of entrees and side dishes. Utensils are never optional. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church prescribes a number of fasting periods, including Wednesdays, Fridays, and the entire Lenten season, so Ethiopian cuisine contains many dishes that are vegan. A typical dish consists of injera accompanied by a spicy stew, which frequently includes beef, lamb, vegetables, and various types of legumes, such as lentils. Gurij cuisine also makes use of the false banana plant, a type of ensit. The plant is pulverized and fermented to make a bread-like food called cocoa or cocoa, which is eaten with kitfo. The root of this plant may be powdered and prepared as a hot drink called bulla, which is often given to those who are tired or ill. Another typical gurij preparation is coffee with butter. Kitta herb bread is also baked. Overview Pasta is frequently available throughout Ethiopia, including rural areas. Coffee is also a large part of Ethiopian culture and cuisine. After every meal, a coffee ceremony is enacted and espresso coffee is served. Burberry a combination of powdered chili pepper and other spices, is an important ingredient used in many dishes. Also essential is niter kibet, a clarified butter infused with ginger, garlic, and several spices. Korsa a common dish in western part of Oromia. Mitmata is a powdered seasoning mix used in Ethiopian cuisine. It is orange-red in color and contains ground bird's eye chili peppers, cardamom seed, cloves and salt. It occasionally has other spices including cinnamon, cumin, and ginger. In their adherence to strict fasting, Ethiopian cooks have developed a rich array of cooking oil sources besides sesame and safflower for use as a substitute for animal fats which is forbidden during fasting periods. Ethiopian cuisine also uses nug. Wat begins with a large amount of chopped red onion, which is simmered or sautéed in a pot. Once the onions have softened, niter kebe is added. Following this, berberi is added to make a spicy keiwat or kiyat sebhai. Turmeric is used instead of berberi for a milder alikawat or both spices are omitted when making vegetable stews, such as at kiltwat. Meat such as beef ske, chicken doro, or durho, fish asa, goat or lamb beg or beji is also added. Legumes such as split peas kk or kiki and lentils msr or birsen, or vegetables such as potatoes dnch, carrots, and chard are also used instead in vegan dishes. Each variation is named by appending the main ingredient to the type of wat. However, the word ke is usually not necessary, as the spicy variety is assumed when it is omitted. The term at kilt wat is sometimes used to refer to all vegetable dishes, but a more specific name can also be used. Meat along with vegetables are sautéed to make tibs. Tibs is served in a variety of manners, and can range from hot to mild or contain little to no vegetables. There are many variations of the delicacy, depending on type, size, or shape of the cuts of meat used. The mid-18th century European visitor to Ethiopia, Remedius Prutki, describes tips as a portion of grilled meat served to pay a particular compliment or show a special respect to someone. 
This is perhaps still true as the dish is still prepared today to commemorate special events and holidays. Kinch is a very common Ethiopian breakfast, its equivalent of oatmeal. It's incredibly simple, inexpensive, and nutritious. It is made from cracked wheat. It can be boiled in either milk or water. The flavor of the kinch comes from the nit i r kibe, which is a spiced butter. Traditional ingredients Chico, barley conserved with butter, is traditional food of Oromia region in Ethiopia. It is traditionally made by women from barley powder mixed with a sufficient amount of distilled butter, along with ginger, onion, salt, and spices. Chico is easy to prepare in a short time, and is full of protein because of its barley content. To make it, first barley is husked and then roasted over a fire. It is then pounded into a powder. Over this powder, a sufficient amount of butter and spices is added, and mixed to create the finished, piquant product. Individual portions of chico vary between 2 and 5 kilograms. Chico can be stored for up to a year without spoiling. Chico is both a part of the everyday diet and prepared for special events. It is popular among those on long journeys or away at university because of its long shelf life. It is also prepared for holidays and festivals. It is traditionally related with Oromo weddings, served by the bride's parents to the groom's best men. Chico is mainly produced for home consumption, but can also be found at local markets. Production of Chico is totally dependent on the production of barley. Therefore, in times of drought or bad harvests, production subsequently decreases. It is also becoming more difficult for many families to prepare due to the high price related to the large quantity of butter required. It is also slowly losing its importance related to wedding customs, and is being replaced by imported products new to the market, meaning fewer people are left who know how to and continue to prepare Chico. The traditional products, local breeds, and know-how collected by the Ark of Taste belong to the communities that have preserved them over time. Another distinctively Ethiopian dish is Kitfo. It consists of raw beef mince marinated in mitmata and niter kibet. Gourd gourd is very similar to Kitfo, but uses cubed rather than ground beef. Ibi is a cottage cheese that is mild and crumbly. It is much closer in texture to crumbled feta. Although not quite pressed, the whey has been drained and squeezed out. It is often served as a side dish to soften the effect of very spicy food. It has little to no distinct taste of its own. However, when served separately, ibi is often mixed with a variety of mild or hot spices typical of Gurij cuisine. Goman Kitfo is another typical Gurij dish. Collard greens are boiled, dried and then finely chopped and served with butter, chili, and spices. It is a dish specially prepared for the occasion of mescal, a very popular holiday marking the discovery of the true cross. It is served along with ibi or sometimes even Kitfo in this tradition called Denjisa. Dishes what? Fit fit or fur fur is a common breakfast dish. It is made from shredded injera or kitsch stir fried with spices or what? Another popular breakfast food is fatara. The delicacy consists of a large fried pancake made with flour, often with a layer of egg. It is eaten with honey. Chechepsa resembles a pancake covered with Burberry and niter kibet or other spices, and may be eaten with a spoon. Genfo is a kind of porridge, which is another common breakfast dish. It is usually served in a large bowl with a dugout made in the middle of the genfo and filled with spiced niter kibet. 
A variation of thol, a fava bean stew with condiments, served with baked rolls instead of injera, is also common for breakfast. Tibs Kinch Oromo dishes Gurdj dishes Kitfo Typical Ethiopian snacks are dabo kolo or kolo. Kolo made from roasted barley, chickpeas, and peanuts are often sold by kiosks and street vendors wrapped in a paper cone. Snacking on popcorn is also common. According to some sources, drinking of coffee is likely to have originated in Ethiopia. A key national beverage, it is an important part of local commerce. The coffee ceremony is the traditional serving of coffee, usually after a big meal. It often involves the use of a jebena, a clay coffee pot in which the coffee is boiled. The preparer roasts the coffee beans right in front of guests, then walks around wafting the smoke throughout the room so participants may sample the scent of coffee. Then the preparer grinds the coffee beans in a traditional tool called a moksha. The coffee is put into the jebena, boiled with water, and then served with small cups called sini. Coffee is usually served with sugar, but is also served with salt in many parts of Ethiopia. In some parts of the country, niter kibet is added instead of sugar or salt. IB Snacks, such as popcorn or toasted barley, are often served with the coffee. In most homes, a dedicated coffee area is surrounded by fresh grass, with special furniture for the coffee maker. A complete ceremony has three rounds of coffee and is accompanied by the burning of frankincense. Tea will most likely be served if coffee is declined. Admit is a barley and oat flour based drink that is cooked with water, sugar, and kibe until the ingredients have combined to create a consistency slightly thicker than eggnog. Though this drink is often given to women who are nursing, the sweetness and smooth texture make it a comfort drink for anyone who enjoys its flavor. Ombo mineral water or Ombo Waha is a bottled carbonated mineral water sourced from the springs in Ombo Senkil near the town of Ombo. Tej is a potent honey wine. It is similar to mead, which is frequently served in bars. Kadi Kala and Arake are inexpensive local spirits that are very strong. Tela is a home-brewed beer served in Tela Bet which specialize in serving Tela only. Tela is the most common beverage made and served in households during holidays. Agursha is an act of friendship and love. When eating injera, a person uses his or her right hand to strip off a piece, wraps it around somewhat or kitfo, and then puts it into his or her mouth. During a meal with friends or family, it is a common custom to feed others in the group with one's hand by putting the rolled injera or a spoonful of other dishes into another's mouth. This is called a gursha, and the larger the gursha, the stronger the friendship or bond. This tradition was featured in The Food Wife, an episode of The Simpsons that uses Ethiopian cuisine as a plot point. Goman Kitfo Breakfast Snacks Beverages Coffee Non-alcoholic brews Manufactured drinks Spirits Gursha